Hello, hello, everybody. It's another Wellness Wednesday, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Wellness Wednesday. And I always like to bring a message to enlighten, to help you change your perspective, to see things from a different way, because sometimes all we need is look at things with a different uh, glass, right? And my glasses are on the other desk. So sometimes we all we need is to change the way we look at things because when we change that, then the things that look at us change. And it's all in a mindset. It's all in our mind. So I, um, I wanted to share several things with you today to make it life simple. Sometimes we're looking for the big thing, the big change, and we are playing small. We're playing victim. In so many things, we want to maybe improve our health, we want to lose weight, we want to have a better relationship with our parents, our husbands, our kids, uh, we want a raise in our job, we want to change jobs, but we play victim, we play small. And a lot of times, especially I think that menopausal season um, in life, that is kind of a decade it's from the 40s to the 50s kind of and that's my area of expertise i feel that a lot of the things come up to flow so that we can finally see them for their what they are and we can release them so we can be empowered again so we've been playing the victim and that is only a protective mechanism i was listening to gabby bernstein this morning and she always Whenever I listen to a message, it's exactly what I needed or what I had in my mind or what I'm in the process of creating. It's amazing when we elevate our energy and we really become aligned and in tune to the things that we want, the things that we want come to us. And the answers are within, but we, and the answers are outside of us, but they are brought to us because we're doing something. So we have to stop playing the victim. And it's like, poor me, I will only do this if, or I cannot get to this because there's always reasons, or I should do, or I should not do, or I'm not there yet because, hey, we are all, all have our places that we want more, that we want to grow more. But guess what? Um, it's a lot of inner work that has to happen in order to get that level of success wherever you want to be. So let me ask you in this conversation, what area of your life would you like to see more of? What area of your life would would you say to yourself that you're playing victim, that you're playing small? I would love to hear your comments. I would love to read your comments and then we can have a conversation about that. But in what area is like, are you feeling stuck? You're playing victim. You're playing like a poor girl. The poor girl is like, she cannot do it because uh, life is happening all around her and she cannot do the things. We have to pl stop playing that game, right? And it's just a decision. It's just like flipping the coin. I posted something this week and somebody said, Micah, you helped me so much just to change the perspective about, about something that I said about menopause. And she said, you, it, it just made all the difference. I said, yes, it says flipping the coin, but are you flipping it? <laughs> Do you know that there is a possibility that you can do just that or just that, right? And flip the coin and see the other side of the coin. It's that easy, but we make it so complicated in our mind. So we are playing the victim inside our body, inside our brain, and it's taking all our energy, all our power away. And you have it at your fingertips. You have that power with your, even with your breath. Um, I was saying to another group or, or another group of people, is like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for exercise. Oh, I know who that was. 
Um, so I was reading a post this morning from her, a, a friend of mine that I'm helping, and we're doing a metabolism reset, and she has not showed up for the calls. She has no time. She's a single mom. She has uh, all the things, and she's building a business, and she has some things with uh, her brain. Well, brain fog. It's called brain fog because she's right in the middle of it. Um, of the menopause, right? So she's doing, 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 and that's what she said in her post. I'm doing, 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 doing all the things with no help. At what time am I going to exercise? And she is concerned about her weight, and she's concerned because she has had breast cancer. She was a breast cancer survivor, and she has more like alert or awareness, right? But the problem is that we're so focused, and that is not only her, I think everybody here listening, uh, we are in that mentality of doing, 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 doing. And as a mom, and maybe, and as a single mom, then it's like, holy moly, it's like, if I don't take care of this, the world will come down, all right, will crumble. But we forget there's two resources. One resource is, God, our CEO, Jesus, and the second resource is our breath. <laughs> as incredible and as easy and maybe silly listening about this, but it is a superpower. It's a super tool to relax our nervous system and even to help us burn more fat. Yeah, so even we all have two minutes before taking a shower, right? We don't have to be wasting money in a made, made membership with the gym. And it's not wasting money, but it's wasting sometimes time and money because I know a lot of people who have gym memberships, but they don't make time to go. That is time wasted. That is money and time wasted uh, that I don't like. I don't like that. So today I went to my hot works um, and to sweat it out. No, not today. Yesterday, it was my Tuesdays that I go twice a week. And sometimes it's a membership and it's not costing me too much, but still I'm paying for it. So if I'm paying for it, I'm going to use it. And it feels so bad when I don't go. Anyhow, talking about the breath or that you have the power of decision at any given moment. When we do even five minutes Oh my gosh, what happened? It blacked out for a second. When we have two minutes before, even while the the hot the water is heating up in your shower, you can do some sit-ups, some push-ups, some lunges, right? Some jumping jacks and some breathing exercises. That's two minutes. You know the power of that. That accelerates your your um, your heart rate. It oxygenates your brain and it puts you on alert and it puts you on like brain function because there's blood circulating. Do you not have two minutes? So now tell me, are you a victim or are you doing the things that can help you thrive? And it's all about those little things. It's all about knowing. Sometimes the, the victim part is because we do not know what to do. But when we do know, we're just making excuses. We're just procrastination because we're making stories that it's too hard. And now I know it for myself because I have some areas in my life that I know I procrastinate and I need to do better. I need to do more. But guess what? When we make the time and we say, okay, today is the day I'm going to do this and I'm not going to pay attention to anything else. Just set the time for one hour, two hours, or three or five hours to do the thing that you most want to do. You have no idea how peace of mind it gives you because you did something that was in the back burner that you thought you would never get to. You finally, and it's what that thing that you really want to do, but you don't make time for, is exactly that thing that is going to give you the peace of mind exactly the thing that is going to give you the peace of mind and i did that yesterday i had in my back burner some studies that i wanted to do i'm doing human design and i wanted to study something about me 
And I really wanted to do it, but I knew that by the time I get organized and have all my papers on and just really focus on that task, it takes a lot of energy. But I said, I'm not going to pay attention to anything. I know sometimes social media, I love social media, but at the time, it's also a time sucker, right? Once I start, I cannot stop. So I said, uh uh. Today is a day I'm going to block. I'm not going to start with that. I'm going to start with what I said I wanted to do. And that can be for you exercise or that can be for you uh, meal prepping or that can go be for you uh, taking a class or that can be uh, taking it like signing up for coaching uh, because nothing happens if we don't make any changes, if we don't do changes. So what I did is like I really took that time for me to do all the, the, the study that I wanted and I blocked any distractions because we live in a very distractive world and one phone call, one, one ding, one notification takes us away from our concentration and you know what, when you're starting something and you get distracted, it takes you another 15 to 20 minutes to go back to your focus, to your concentration. and it's kind of you don't get it back like you want it because now you're thinking about that thing. So it's just it's just how the brain works and that's how all business, high business uh, coaching uh, say that, right? I follow Marie Forleo and she was saying that in a, in a podcast two weeks ago. It's like cancel all notifications, all dings. My phone is al always on mute because I cannot stand that ding, 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 or that call, or I'm in a lot of group texts and I don't want to have that distraction. I get to take a look when it's my time, when I make the time to do it. So everything has a time. And if we're playing victim and small, it's because we're not assigning those times and we're allowing everybody to manage our time, but we're not taking control of our time. So it's important to notice that and that you learn by doing the thing and noticing how you feel. I always like to say, everything you do, notice how you feel. If your energy goes up and you feel calm and peace of mind, keep adding those things more in your life. If something is taking away energy, is driving you nuts, it's giving you stress, Notice those things and stop, start doing less of those things. That is how you start looking and finding your way to balance your life that you can produce the things that you want to produce in life. Um, and, and it goes for all areas of our life. So that's why I like to do like my approach in coaching and mentoring and wellness it's not just one thing. It's not a pill. It's not a diet. It's not a just uh, find a solution for sleeping or just find a solution for for your digestion or just find a solution to have therapy or just have a solution for an exercise workout. No, it does not work like that. We need to work in um, synergetic everything affects and impacts everything so it's we need to work in a holistic way so that everything makes sense with each other and they're not fighting for attention all the things that we want to do right we need to be who we need to be first in order to do the things to get the results that we want so what we think what we um, feel is first and then in that energetic space, we can do the things that we need to be doing with concentration and focus to get the results that we want. And again, that is for all the things that we do in life. And my very passion is to lay a foundation of, of our food intake, of our lifestyle, of what are you invested in the morning, a morning routine for all the things that you're doing for you which is the, the being, not the doing. You're doing the things for you, which allow you to be the version of you you want to be in order to do all the things you need to do in life. So that is a foundation, right? 
So it's making the pause. I feel menopause is the time in our life to make a pause, reflect on what we're doing, who we are focusing our attention in, noticing how our energy is feeling. And if we're very low, then doing less of those things but becoming aware and appreciating and acknowledging those things and making a list of the things that you are doing that or that you can start doing that raise your energy, your vibration, because you want to elevate that because then you can serve and do all the things that you want because now you're giving from your overpour of energy. And it's like filling a cup full of holes, right? Maybe you are working your days like that. You're doing your days, all the things that you're doing, you're doing, 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 but all your efforts are not being contained. They're just filling over because the hole, the, the cup has, it's full of holes. So it's like no matter how much more you do, it's still spilling, spilling, spilling. So let's seal that cup and make the time to, well, seal first and then pour into so that you can feel great in your days in life. My computer is doing blackouts. So <laughs> I hope this is recording properly and maybe it's a signal that it's time to end this conversation today. But um, yeah, it's recognize those single signals and it's stop playing small, stop playing the victim and start being in your power so that you can thrive. And whether, what are, what is the one thing that you think that you are going to start doing? I mentioned two things at the beginning, your breathing and even two or five minutes of working out, right? Within your shower, you can do all those things. So when in your day are you going to do that? And I would like to hear in the comments. And also, as always, if you are liking my content and whether you see this in YouTube or whether you see this here um, on my Facebook group or whether somebody shared it with you, I would love to hear your comments and read your comments so I can post um, and comment on that because it all begins with a conversation. This is a conversation I'm having with you, but when I have it really coming back and noticing if this is helping you, I would love to create more content for you. What is the one thing that you would like to hear me um, share more about or what is your what is your struggle? I would love to hear that because from that I can create some content and I love doing this for you. Um, anyhow, have a brilliant, blessing day and go take a deep breath, not only one, maybe five, <laughs> and see how you feel. Let's start with that. Have a great um, day today. Thank you for listening.